And uh, now we're going to go to another bucket idea. This is uh, Mark Shelton called Easy Buckets. Now he gives you a little more technical advice, things that make it a little sharper, ways to play and where to go. Hey Eric, good to see ya. Okay. Um, what I liked about his is he also recommends that you take paint cans and fill them with beads. They give a little rattle sound. And then you can also take the paint can, can lids to make them like symbols if you wanted to use that. He recommends if you do this in a concert setting that you line the kids up in black and then take the, if they have sticks, put them with fluorescent colored tape on them and then put a black light going on and it pops the whole concert, which is kind of a neat idea. So that's what he does. He also works in boom whackers. Uh, I don't have that one for you, friends. Sorry. I wish I'd invented boom whackers. But we do have one that you can use, and I don't care what instrument you're going to use, but you can see what it is. If you'll go to the next screen. This is called Salsa Shelly. Now he's going to put a CD in the back. The only thing that does is, is it just provides a steady beat. And it plays exactly what the kids are supposed to play. I don't know about you, but I, I'm like, watch me! Watch me! You guys, eyes up! You know, you're trying to get them to watch it because you're speeding up. This they get to hear, so they kind of get into a groove with it. So it gives you more hands-free teaching where you can go to a student and guide them and direct them. So that feels really good. We're going to actually do this with that. Hey, a pick a line. Pick a line. You can be a bass drum, tenor bucket drum, tenor bucket one or two, metal drum, and beats bucket. If you've got an instrument, who doesn't have an instrument? Because we don't want you to feel left out. Raise your hand. <laughs> That's better. I'm talking to you. Okay, now. Would you help me pass these out somebody? We're going to pass out some instruments. Maybe buckets. And I have some boom whackers. So. Everybody needs to have something because this is a day full of fun. <laughs> pass these back to people that don't have those. Alright. You know how that happened. You know how boom whackers were created, right? You know the story? A couple went to a stomp concert. And do uh, you know the story? They went to a stomp concert and they saw that and they thought, you know what? It'd be really cool if we could come up with something like that. So they had all these rolls of Christmas paper that they had finished with and they started cutting them to different lengths. And that's how Boom Whackers were born. We've got to think of something like that. So I'm going to put my bottles of wine right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's Salsa Shelly. We're going to let Myra play the groove and then you guys just start doing your thing. Generally, I have everybody on an every line. We rhythm speak it, then we go back through and then I layer them in. And for my younger kids, I might only do two parts that are pretty simple. Then as the older ones get there, they can keep developing. But it's that groove. You know, if you've ever been into a drumming workshop, they will play the same things over and over and over. And you think, how are they doing that? Well, if you ever got in there and started doing it yourself, it just is like you're in a trance. And it's like, oh, man, this is so cool. But anyway, all right, play Salsa Shelly and we'll get everybody started on something there. <coughs> normal things they have in their house. Of course, then, if you did that, they'd probably say, well, why should we spend money on buying new instruments? <laughs> because you didn't. That's why we're playing buckets. <laughs> anyway, bye. 